Hi, my name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. Are you sick and tired of being weak and looked down upon by everyone you know? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change all of that. No more days of the week for you, no, no. You'll have days of the strong. <laughs> that good? Would, would you believe me? Now nah, I'm just messing with you guys. We're making an exo suit, but first, quick update. So, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. If you guys don't know, I'm actually a student and we just had finals week. Plus, I actually had to pack up my studio I have at school uh, because I won't be there next semester. I'm actually going abroad, more on that later. I'm gonna ask you one last time from this studio. I'm gonna have to take it all down and say goodbye. A little sad. Made a lot of cool stuff in this studio. <laughs> so sad. This is actually so satisfying. Stop. Studio is packed up. Key right there. If anyone wants to come find this place, so long. It's been real. Back in the old studio, and it is trashed right now. So much of a mess. You can see my electric longboard addiction. Drone propeller that almost killed me. You have to fix that. Let's get cleaning. Wow, and through the magic of editing, studio's all clean. This wall is looking packed. Black Panther claws, swords, more claws, dragon head, flame thrower, more masks. Spider-Man Venom. So yeah, I've been pretty busy, but uh, I'm finally back home. I finally have some more time to work on the projects that I want to do. And I have to say, guys, I'm really excited. What the hell is going on with my hair? I have one piece that's sticking up. <sighs> that's worse. That's way worse. So I have more than a month off. So I've been thinking about what projects I want to do. And personally, the ones that get me excited are the bigger builds. I'm talking the fan boats, the jet bikes. That stuff's the most fun. Usually, as I grow up, I want my projects to grow with me. Like, I don't want to keep doing like the same small little builds forever. Like, those are definitely fun, and, and it's perfect when I don't really have much time. Pretty entertaining to do, but it's not really a direction I want to go. God, this camera is dirty. Got it. This is probably something that should be put in the deleted scenes. My favorite type of builds are the ones that enhance the human body, make you do stuff that you normally couldn't. So I was thinking, I like to work out a little bit, you know, pump the iron, as they say. <laughs> So maybe I could make a machine that will uh, let me do something I normally couldn't. Possibly an exosuit, something like that. So I decided to tackle the pull-ups first. Pretty simple, you just grab onto something, lift your body up. Oh god, there's spiders up there. Ah, cool. Maybe even let me do a one-arm pull-up. So I went on the interwebs and got myself a few of these linear actuators. Now supposedly these things can lift like 200 plus pounds each. I've never used these before, but I just turned them on and it looks like they are pretty slow. This might have to be like a super concentration pull up, but uh, honestly for a prototype and just experimenting around with a uh, sort of exoskeleton suit, this seems like a good place to get my feet wet a little bit. So, so I'm thinking we use a harness along with these linear actuators. I must have hit this camera with some flex seal earlier. Got all these dots on it, all these blind spots. A little fun fact, did you know uh, humans actually have blind spots? You can find it. Closing one eye, stretching out your arm all the way while looking directly straight. Just move your thumb over a little bit until it disappears. Mine's right about there. Jay Laser Video, fun fact of the day. Why that's relevant, I have no idea, but uh, hopefully it'll stretch this video out to 10 minutes. This thing works super simply. We've got a positive and negative terminal on our linear actuator. We connect positive and negative leads of a 12 volt power source to the positive and negative leads of the other of the linear actuator. We have some painfully slow movement, but uh, these things can lift a lot of weight. Plan, I think I'm gonna take this harness, connect the two linear actuators on either side, and then attach some string to my hand. So uh, when these things pull in, it'll pull me up. Try and put this harness on real quick, fresh with my blood. Got a way to attach the actuators to my harness. Um, now we just don't need a way to get these attached to my hands. Actually, I should say to get the ends attached to a bar because uh, I don't want my hands to have to do the holding. I wanna put all of these stress through the uh, linear actuator. So I need to make a claw of some sort. Found some pretty sturdy metal, bent it in a hook shape. Probably gonna wrap it with a little bit of tape and uh, we'll see if this works. I'm hooked on a feeling. Hooked on a feeling.
All right, let's just test real quick if this thing supports my weight. I'm gonna clip in the bottom loop. Yeah, this is gonna work out great, Jake. I haven't even put any weight on it, I'm already broke. Oop. All right, gonna clip this onto the makeshift rope I've got right here, and we're gonna see if we can hang from it. It's working, it's working. I'd actually be holding onto the rope realistically, and then this thing would contract and pull me up as well. Supports my weight. Oh yeah. Okay, so I think I finally got this working. We got a very complicated mess of wires right there. Pretty much all that we care about is uh, these two buttons right here, which uh, make one motor go up and down, and then these two buttons, which make the other motor go up and down. So there's the two motors. That one, this button makes that one go out. Other button makes that one go back in. In and out, just like that. So let's go bundle this all up, uh, attach these to the harness, and uh, see what happens. I should also mention I'm going to be hooking up the uh, control switches to my wrist using uh, bands right here, these Velcro bands. I'm going to wrap it around my wrist, thread the hook up through this part and then a little bit around my finger and uh, attach the switches to that. You'll see. Alright, got the pneumatic, got everything hooked up, got the the triggers attached, got the <clears throat> acting. I got the switches attached to my arm, got the pneumatics attached to my belt. And they're gonna be right where my hands are, so uh, I don't actually have to hold anything. Makeshift pull up bar, I'm gonna clip the hooks onto, and we'll see if these things can pull me up. All right, we'll get them centered and uh, pull up. Yep, they pulled me up. All right, technically, that, that worked. That was Pretty horrible, but you know, gotta start somewhere. Let's go try and test this out on a real pull up bar. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's just first of all. No. All right, let's see if I can actually do this one arm pull up. I'm just gonna control the remote with this, with my other hand, because I'll have that free. Have to impress the ladies. One arm pull up. Here we come. <laughs> I kicked over my support. All right, back down. Nice. You know what this thing reminds me of, guys, is that, uh, that scene from 21 Jump Street when uh, they're climbing up the building. Channing Tatum's going all like ninja mode and Jonah Hill's just like. It reminds me exactly like this. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna go toss on my jacket, see if we can cover up these actuators um, to make it look even more like it's just me doing the pull up. Coat pretty much guarantees there's going to be nothing suspicious with this at all. Oh yeah, that, that, that looks normal. That definitely looks normal. Prepare to be amazed. Up, up, and away. Guys, check this out. That actually wasn't me doing a one-arm pull-up. I actually had a linear actuator in my sleeve. Ha, oh, the old linear actuator in the sleeve trick. Got y'all. Y'all been pranked. There's cameras everywhere. Honestly, I feel like I'm pranking myself with this video. My gym teacher made fun of me because I couldn't do a pull-up in middle school. What do you think of me now, Mr. Newton? Yeah. There's a chance I might be stuck up here. <laughs> There's like a really big chance I'm stuck up here, guys. Oh yeah, there's one. Now we're just gonna lower myself back down. Oh, just kidding guys, I'm standing. Acting. All right guys, well that is, what is with this thing? Yeah, I'm wearing a tie. I filmed the outro at the end and uh, I'm too lazy to change. So, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Except I wouldn't, you know, this thing kind of still sucks. <laughs> just remember, it is part one. So uh, it can only get better. But uh, comment below what you want to see me do next. I actually did a poll on YouTube. Yeah, you, you can do those now. Um, asking if you guys wanted to see like a bunch of different parts on one bigger project or a bunch of little projects. And right now it looks like you guys want the bigger projects. 
which uh, I'm glad about because uh, that's the way I was feeling as well. Follow me on all the social medias, grab a shirt, some merch if you want, all relevant links down in the description. I'm uploading this around Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever holiday you celebrate. So uh, happy holidays, take it easy guys, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.